Thank you. Could you call up uh, citation 129? Mr. Clerk, please report. Citation 129, Speaker Osborne. Citation of appreciation, the House of Representatives of the Commonwealth of Kentucky hereby recognizes and honors Kentucky State Representative Jerry T. Miller. Gentleman from Jefferson. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. You know, the first time I came into this great chamber was a long time ago. And the floor, uh, the floor leader at the time, we all remember who he was, but I guess I can't say his name, but start with an S and ends with an O. <laughs> he said, you won't get rich in here to the freshmen. And I was, a, I was about as freshman as you can get. But you'll make friendships that'll last a lifetime. And man, was he right about that. I've seen so many come and some are still here and just great friendships that we'll have for a lifetime. One of those friends is the, is the gentleman from Jefferson 36 over here. You know, ever since that first time I met him, I was very impressed with the gentleman. He has a quick wit. He knows a lot about history. He's very good at trivia. And he's a good golfer, too. And he doesn't cheat when nobody's looking in golf. That was one of the first things I noticed about him. But the most impressive thing, and the gentleman from Greenup stole my thunder, is he walks so fast. You know, I'm tall. I'm taller than him, I guess, or we're about the same. But my legs are short. And I got to do two steps to his one. And there's no way I can keep up with him as he's rolling down the hall. So uh, he's an accountant by trade, and also I've always been amazed at how he can look at a spreadsheet and understand it so quick. They'll hand him and me a spreadsheet, and he'll be look at it for about 30 seconds and start talking about things, and I'm still trying to figure out who the, what the column headings are. He, he, he is really quick, and... Uh, he, he, this, the skills that he's had through his life, the counting, has really helped the state of Kentucky because ever since he's been here, I guess he's been involved in every major pension reform bill we've had. And the last time you, you look, the pensions are starting to recover quite a bit. You know, uh, another thing about the gentleman is he's a philanthropist and he doesn't talk about that I had to do some investigation him and his wife give quite a bit to the volunteers of America they have a scholarship at the Gatton Business School at UK um, he's a very giving person and that, that doesn't come through when you when you know him the first time it takes a while you have to dig up those details about him but he and I have been on many campaign trips together and conferences where we would drive across the, the USA, to, well, to Chicago. He would never. <laughs> <laughs> I would drive to Salt Lake City, but he would have to, he, would, he couldn't go farther than Chicago. But many times, you know, when you're driving in a car with somebody, you start talking about things. And uh, he's somebody you can confide in. Uh, I've told him some, uh, not real bad secrets, but I've told him some things about my life. And it's never got back to me th through the back door. So uh, he, he is, uh, he is a, a great guy, but the one thing is we're gonna lose him because if you ever talk about his grandchildren, you'll see the light in his eye uh, go up. His, he likes to spend time with his, with his grandchildren and his family. And if you ever call him and he doesn't answer, he's either with his grandchildren or watching a Wildcat game. And it's impossible to get a hold of him during a Wildcat game. So I hope that he and Laura have many great days, many sunny days, as they go on from here. So, 
Gentlemen, thank you for serving Kentucky, and you've been a great friend. Thank you. Gentleman from Jefferson 29. I move adoption of uh, citation 129. Without objection, citation is adopted.